this emailer is sure that I'm trying to make my shop look bigger than it really is. He says, I've been watching many of your videos and I'm convinced that you're just trying to make your shop look small so you can buddy up to most of us that don't have the big shops. I like your website and videos, but get real with us. I responded, well, I do try to use different camera angles and backgrounds to keep the videos looking as good as I can from one to the other. I'm not trying to make the shop look bigger. I really would like to make it bigger, but that costs money, so that ain't going to happen. I have learned to make the best use of the spaces I do have in my shop, but I'm not trying to do that to fake anybody out. After answering this email, I thought I might be able to show what he's talking about by answering the rest of I Get Email 5 from the main spots that I have shot videos from in the past. When I posted my kickback on camera story, I knew that I'd get skewered by some of the forums on the internet. However, I thought the potential good of people seeing what a real kickback is like is way more important than me getting hammered a little bit. Naturally, the deluge of email regarding the kickback video quickly reached into the thousands. The vast majority of those thanked me for posting the video and said they were glad I didn't get killed, though some of them may have wished I got wounded a little bit. Most of them told me to never try that again. Count on that. As I expected, a few just couldn't pass up the opportunity to rip me publicly. One person said, just why you would post the video of such a stupid mistake is dumb. You want woodworkers to learn from your site and then you show such a big mistake? That shows how stupid you really are. Another said, so you put up one video of you doing something stupid. Do you think that makes you like regular woodworkers? I don't think so. And this one said, I always thought you were a dope. Thanks for proving me right again. Your video would have been better if you chopped off a couple of fingers. We'd have liked that more than your stupid video. The fact that these folks might be losing their grasp on reality a little isn't is what troubles me most. Does the second guy really think that the average woodworker is having kickbacks like that is normal? Somebody needs to sneak into a shop and disable his table saw quickly. Another thing I noticed since posting the kickback video is that some of the forum experts seem to have a hard time getting past the first part of the page. A common thing in their posts and emails was that they either would say there's no video there at all, it's at the end of the page, where just a bit over 223,000 people seem to have no problem finding it, or they just wrote me on what, whatever the first paragraph said. I received one email from one of the forum experts that said, so now I have to buy a DVD to see your kickback? You are nothing but a stupid ripoff. I replied, yes, you have to buy the DVD to see the kickback. The rest of the world found it just fine and saw it for free. Of course, if you actually look before posting another attack on someone, people wouldn't recognize your posts on a forum anymore. Remember, you have to buy the DVD and then go yell at someone else for a little while. I know you'll be back. Every once in a while, I prove that I can also become an adult myself. A guy emailed me complimenting my story on doing router inlays. Then he asked, can you say what an inlay is in a few words? I thought that because he had just complimented me on my story on doing inlays, that he was kidding. So I replied, in a few words? Nope. Well, his reply cleared the things up for me. He said, very helpful. Sorry I asked. I'll post your helpful attitude on the Woodworkers Forum. I almost answered him trying to explain myself, but figured that would just make it worse, and besides, I got this one coming. This person emailed saying, you know, you act like a little kid throwing a tantrum just because you get a few emails that you don't like mixed in with the ones that you do like. I know you want the world to be as perfect as you think you are, but all of us have to make it through life as it is. Stop acting like a little kid and more like an adult. I replied, I'm not acting and you're a stupid head. <laughs>